this is the golden ribbon and we're here with another tutorial looking at the heart the medical heart icon and this is actually um, a one that I did from last year and it was part of the medical icon set which I will link in the description and this is something that I said I was going to release sometime afterwards but I never got the chance to so I moved on to other tutorials but this is going to be a simple tutorial nothing very difficult just dealing with paths and nodes and um, circles to make this nice hard icon good for beginner levels so let's jump right into it I've got my canvas which is supposed to be 1700 by 1700 a couple pixels out my colors on the right hand side in circles my logo and also what we had in the preview just so for reference okay so first up we're going to move on and we're going to go to our circle tool I'm going to create an oval I think I'm missing a color actually yes I am missing a color let me just add that color and this oval is going to represent the main part of the heart right here but this part of the heart about here and we're going to stretch it out and we've got this part of the heart then we're going to create another oval let's use D and um, paint this oval a nice a fleshy pink color and then we're going to create another oval, oval by duplicating what we had before in fact let's make it from scratch so that everybody can see and we're going to use this darker fresh pink right here with the dropper tool you can press D to activate the dropper tool you can come right here pick from colors okay and then we're going to select the handle click again and then rotate and we can rotate in increments we are holding control so we create the oval click it one more time to get the rotational handles and hold control and we can rotate like this in increments if we hold control before we rotate we're going to squeeze this a bit if we press this and pull it in it's only going to pull one side so we're going to hold shift and it's going to pull from both sides so we're going to pull from both sides hold shift again pull from both sides a bit and then we're going to turn it I'm going to put it up out up here hold control and shift and pull out and in with your hold control and shift and your left mouse button and pull right up and in so you can zoom in so you can increase the size or decrease the size proportionally to what it already was very handy tool and we're going to put it about up here good then we're going to create another oval and we're going to put it about here next to it you can even put a stroke on it so you can see differentiate it from the other oval good then we're going to move on i'm going to press e or go to the bezier tool and we're going to create a curve right here right not the cleanest curve but it's a curve by double clicking the path we can click the node and then start editing the node this node is called a smooth node and it mo the left handle moves the opposite direction of the right handle to ensure that both ends of the curve are smooth okay so we've got this curve looks a bit better and then we're going to go to stroke in the fill and stroke dialog box you can find an object fill and stroke or you can pick control shift and f if it's not open and then when i go from the tab fill to stroke we are going to go to stroke style first and then we're going to put in i think 120 here pixels 120 yes 120 is all right I may break, bash it down to 100 let's see okay so it's kind of bigger than I expected I'm going to delete that node so we do select it and then hit the delete button 
on your keyboard and then we want this to be rounded on the edges so what we're going to do next is that we're going to circle them <coughs> apologize for that we're going to circle the cap which is the end of each one and it will give us this it's a nice effect to use very handy when you want to smooth your the edges of your strokes good then we're going to move on and we're going to make another stroke coming here up and we're going to use a lower value for this stroke right here and we're going to use like a hundred for this 100 pixels good in fact let's use like 80 yes 80 pixels looks good Right, and try and smooth out this right now it's only smooth on one edge so you want to smooth on the both when you see this node you can select smooth on the both and it will allow you to have a second handle and we're going to sort of line up this with this right here so it looks like they're all coming out from the same we're going to use the dropper tool with D you can find it here and we're going to select this color right here this flesh pink good next we're going to create another oval another oval this, yeah this is about the size actually and we're going to rotate it remember select it click one more time rotate hold control for increments or you can let go of control for freehand rotation and then we have something that looks like this she's looking okay good i'm gonna move this in right and i'm gonna move this into round the four so we have this right here looking really good marvelous stuff okay so with this node with this new oval that we have we're going to duplicate it and then with control and d that control and d duplicates you can't see it right now where we pull it across we can see it and then we're going to control and hold shift select one of these corner handles and we're going to pull up press D again to select this it's above the one that we made before you want it below so you're gonna use our options up top and push it below on the layering scale okay you can go down a bit more let's push it down one more time and one more time again and we get this that's looking really good we'll select both of them using shift and we're gonna rotate them together and hold control and shift and pull this up a bit great stuff looking really nice already you can even increase the size of this now of our heart it looks like a little bit like a, a teddy bear but we'll get it looking like a heart very soon okay so we got this here and we want this also to have a duplicate of we're going to remove the stroke hold down D and select this flesh pink use control and shift left mouse click hold and drag to increase the size I'm going to put it below this has a stroke so we're going to come down here right click and remove the stroke and we have ourselves something that's looking more, more like a heart the next thing that we're going to move Really nicely is that we're going to add this valve right here so to add this valve we're simply just gonna go B and we're gonna go up here and we're gonna look for create spiral path and we're gonna go into triangle in and then we're going to click from up and down and this should give us a triangle coming down Good. 
looks a bit unassuming here but we're going to double click and we're going to see this purple node and we're going to pull it out right that will give us a nice curved node make it look like it's coming out from the outer flesh so the dissect looks good that's a very clean dissection good we can even pull out the power a little bit more and then shift it a little bit more and that looks great looks like a valve good so we are pretty much set let's move this in a bit you can even pull this in slightly yep, for the heart we're pretty much set the next part that we need to deal with very seriously is this part at the top I'm going to use a square for this one not a circle let's draw the square I'm going to select this node right here to round the edges something around here hold control and shift and left mouse button scroll up click to activate the rotational handles and well actually first click to make sure I select hold control and D to duplicate Control shift and C plus the left mouse button to scroll in Good hold shift to select both of them Control and rotate your Handles and then pull it in In fact what we're gonna do we're gonna group them also So that they move together and you can group them with control and G or you can go up to object and group so we got ourselves this i think this could curve a bit more on both ends but that looks good well so now we've got the heart part going on we're going to move on to the veins and arteries so i'm going to press b and we're going to draw a straight line hold control while bringing up the line you can go to bezier here also hold b again straight line again oh before we do that we have to get rid of the power stroke so press b go to regular bezier none hold control to do the straight line so when you pull up you don't have no issues you can also duplicate it we're just going to duplicate it here for time and we're going to put this to 100 that looks good and then we're going to select both of them hit d for select for the select to change the color and we're going to hold shift so that it colors the stroke because this is still one big stroke okay so next we're going to go and move on to the this curve part of it, it comes out about here and i think it's about here it comes out and it comes about here and we're just going to play about with the nose a bit to get it straight for the sake of time Um, a written breakdown of this tutorial will be in the blog post so if you've lost anything in this then you can definitely um, come back and and get the information from that all right um, let's put this to 100 also see what it looks like curves a little bit off double click it to get into the curves good and then we can begin to fix the curves a bit better great this is good news bring it down we could bring it a bit closer but just this is good for now not sure why Let me just lift this up good next probably needs to be a darker red too but that's okay let's fix that up actually all right next we're going to do a line going across b 
hold control to get a straight line we're going to make it lighter right change it to 100 also I think it could go to 80 we're going to cap the edges because we want them round good also we're going to use B here and stretch out and we're going to do the same 80 lift it up here oh it's grouped somehow all right you're gonna lift this up and um, bring it down a bit hold D shift and select the color in a bit good I'm gonna have another tube coming out of the heart make it about a hundred also good about here put it below and we're going to below that let's give it a different color so that we can see it just for now hold shift give it a different color just for now change it back to the red so that we can see it afterwards but so this is a little bit to the side let's see if we can rotate it bring this a little bit to the side and we have our basic setup we can even increase this to 120 a bit and that looks really good so we got our basic setup of our heart and we can also add some more on the side too everything is basically here we just need to now arrange it a bit i'm going to move this to and put this up to 40 in our stroke dialog we're going to cap them we're going to make the top darker than the bottom Let's select the darker color here holding shift remember these are still strokes so you have to hold shift and we're going to put them underneath the entire heart good so now comes the part where we have to separate things and cause things to cross over things so first up want to look like this is dipping into this valve right here so we're going to get our bezier tool with B and going to create a semicircle making sure our semicircle touches the edges or the vertices of this rectangle right here and then we're going to hold D and click on the flesh and we're going to cover it so it looks like it covers in great the next thing we're going to do <coughs> sorry is that we're going to move into making this look like it's coming underneath over this and underneath so it already looks like it's coming underneath so we need to create something over this to make it look like this is going over the top and there are other ways to do this but this is a nice way to learn your Bezier tool and become more comfortable with it being one of if not the most versatile tools on Scenescape which is the Bezier tool very useful tool good so it looks like it's coming over alright next I'm going to put this hold shift and put this to red and then we're going to create a circle oval remove the stroke good and this oval is going to be pinkish mm -hmm. now hold control and shift to scale up duplicate it hold control and shift and left mouse and pull it down 
good and then we're going to use a lighter color in the middle great so the only thing we need right now perhaps is these three things at the top duplicate this and we're going to flip it up here put these to 40 and cap them and there we have it a heart icon with a little bit of flat design flare to it and then you have time you can go ahead and modify things and stuff in this but so mate this is complete if you enjoyed this tutorial give it a thumbs up if you'd like to see more of this type of tutorial leave so in the comments on the blog I think that's a better place to put it because it helps me to organize better in my head. Great. Thanks for watching. So, and to another tutorial, get up and design a new dawn. Later.